This is Nivedita from Second MSc Biochemistry, and my topic is about A granulocytosis. Granulocytosis in our blood. Uh, it is also known as uh, A granulosis or granulopenia. It is a condition in which the absolute neutrophil count, that uh, is, the neutrophil count on the blood level, that is, come here, 100 neutrophils per microliter of blood. It is a rare condition in which the bone marrow doesn't make enough of certain type of white cells. Uh, which is nothing but mostly neutrophils. Uh, people with this condition are at very high risk of serious infections due to their suppressed immune system. Normal range is uh, uh, 100 to 1,500 per microliter of blood. Uh, causes. A granulocytosis may be either uh, acquired or inherited. In case of acquired, uh, either the bone marrow cannot produce uh, enough stem cells, that is hematopoietic stem cells, that mature into granulocytes, or granulocytes may be destroyed uh, quickly by any other infections uh, like that. Okay, usually other type of cells, even uh, granulocytosis, la vandhi, A granulocytosis, la, WBC, lama, RBC, platelets, it will affect the So, acquired la vandhi, uh, in and causes na, maybe uh, use of some uh, drugs, particularly certain type of antibiotics, antithyroid and antipsychotic medications and exposure to toxic substances such as the arsenic or mercury for a prolonged period. And bone marrow failure disorders such as aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia on the uh, bone marrow on the uh, on the complete stop on it or on the reduce I don't know the uh, cells on the formation on the reduce I don't know the normal bone marrow on the usually 30 to 70 percent of stem cells on the form on no uh, below 30 percentage have been read down and the aplastic anemia okay uh, then uh, other medical conditions such as tumors or uh, any autoimmune disorder the congenital uh, form of a granulocytosis is caused by genetic abnormality infantile genetic a granulocytosis uh, Cosman disease is a rare form of the inherited disease that is present in newborns. Mostly when the same Cosman disease is a uh, bone marrow when the uh, neutrophils when the form panadi is when the mostly children and infants when the affect ago. Symptoms of a granulocytosis. Uh, in symptoms, when the mostly normal or because uh, normal, we have infections. Infections, when the NMR symptoms are come, other than that, are come. Now, a granulocytosis, only when the neutrophil cells are there. So, all my illa, that po, they are more prone for uh, uh, various type of infections. So, all my, all that, any infections, and NMR, that, when this, only in the symptoms, all are come like sores in mouth, throat, or uh, gastrointestinal tract. Chronic infections of gums, throat, or skin, fever and chillness, uh, reduced blood pressure causing weakness, fatigue, headaches, sweating, swollen glands. Uh, swollen glands and redwandi is the main lymph node that I mentioned. Why? Because uh, lymph node is present all over the body. It is uh, uh, connected with uh, neutrophils also. So, neutrophils illa the po enna gunna, mainly bacteria or viral infections. Uh, lymph node one the other one the lymph node one the enlarge I don't other one the swollen glands next the infection is left untreated uh, it can spread quickly throughout the body and even into the blood causing a condition known as sepsis which is a life-threatening without treatment risk factor for a granulocytosis uh, acquired lavande patina uh, already said that even the both male and female jellari may affect affect panno. Either the when the medications naal, nama wear either the or a disease ke either the or conditions ke nama medication edikro na. Adhmul adhnaale when the kora nama ke inda adoda side effect and madri when the uh, in the condition varla like uh, cancer drugs, alkylating agents, antithyroid drugs, dibenzepin compounds or other drugs for a risk of this disorder. If egg granulocytosis is left untreated, na, uh, it, it may be become fatal. I have one of the main complications, as I've said earlier, sepsis. Okay. Diagnosis. Uh, diagnosis of egg granulocytosis is the first uh, blood test for, uh, uh, to check the number of uh, white blood cells and the absolute neutrophil count. Next, uh, doc the doctors diagnose egg granulocytosis with the number of neutrophils 
uh, known as uh, ANC, absolute neutrophil count, is less than 100 per microliter of blood. Next, uh, doctor will also perform a physical exam and take a medical history. If the ANC level is abnormal, the doctor may recommend for further testing such as uh, bone marrow biopsy panwanga or genetic blood test to determine what is causing the granulocytosis. In the genetic blood test, when the uh, inherited conditions are in the, on the test panwanga. Uh, regular periodic blood test is required. It is blood test. It is a spelling mistake. Required for individuals who take drugs that place them at a high risk for acquired A granulocytosis. In many drugs, drugs are not allowed. A granulocytosis is not allowed. They are allowed to periodically test. Next, treatment. Uh, first, uh, first of all, uh, in patients that have symptoms of infection, management consists of uh, close monitoring with uh, serial blood counts and transfusion of granulocytes are suggested. Serial blood counts have been read in the neutrophils, uh, eosinophils, and the mari granulocytes are count the soldrang and the transfusion of uh, granulocytes are suggested. Next, if a granulocytosis is due to an underlying illness, the condition will be treated. Where is now a disease conditions, or disorder on the mother, mulema, a granulocytosis on the first time the condition is in now, other first to cure pan treat pan wanga. Next Okay, if a drug needed for another condition causes a granulocytosis, then it must be prescribed with a substitute treatment. Uh, if you have a condition, if you have a disease, anti drugs, any antibiotics, you have a granulocytosis condition, you can use the drug as an alternative drug for the disease or any disorder. Next, a treatment called a colony stimulating factor can be used for some people such as those who acquired a granulocytosis from chemotherapy. Colony stimulating factor uh, is a factor that we have to do in the hematopoietic stem cells and the formation of uh, uh, cells. That is why the receptor is bind to the body. That is why we have to do in the body. Suppose the bone marrow disorder is not going to be uh, cells when the rumba come uh, less amount la when they produce agada illa suttama produce agala abdina in the colony stimulating factor nala when they aungul kan the cells when the form ago therapy and the bone marrow or receptors alame when they activate ago so as the other this treatment encourages the bone marrow to produce more neutrophils it can be used along with the chemotherapy cycles although not widely used a transmission of neutrophils may be the best temporary treatment for some people. Sila uh, vandu avangu conditions avangu ke enna stage la irukku andha madiri conditions la vandu base panni avangu temporary ah vandu veru neutro granulocytes la vandu majority body la irukiradhu vandu neutrophils tha. So andha madiri temporary ah vandu neutrophil transfusion um vandu suggest pannuvanga. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for listening.